Welcome back. My next guest on the New Shooter show or segment at the Teradek booth at NAB 2016 is Simon from Black Magic Design. Good morning, Dan. How are you? I'm very good. Good to uh, see you. Good to see you, Rodney, as well. Good Rodney to see Kiwi, you. Our, our guest co-host here with us this morning. <laughs> um, and you have had a very busy morning over yes. in the Black Magic booth. Yeah. What did you announce? Uh, we announced a whole bunch of things. I think the the, the exciting the interesting things from a camera point of view is that you remember last year we did this small um, video assist product to sit on top of a DSLR or any other camera uh, as an external monitor and recorder that was HD only as a product and what we now have is the big brother version which is the new video assist 4k um, works of course in exactly the same way as the HD model uh, gives you that 4k monitoring 4k recording a couple of real differences on the side of, of this version of the product is that you've got the full-size BNC's which I think is nice it's a little bit bigger so we were able to accommodate the full-size so you've got you've got two, two SDI in and out yeah so uh, we, we've in, got in SDI 4K. HDMI on it um, is it a 6G connection? Or? It is a 6G connection as well, so perfect as a you know for the the Ultra HD uh, world of, of of sort of monitoring. And then two XLRs. Two XLRs. They're the small XLRs, the mini XLR connections. But we do provide a fly lead to go to a larger. Uh, and to and a are larger these adapter. phantom powered, powerable as they well? They are phantom powered. Yeah, absolutely. This is, and also with this model, so the additional changes to that um, are that these are UHS two cards again for and the and two of them and two of them. So again, to accommodate the increased um, read-write speeds that you require for, for, for working in a 4K environment. But everything else other than that, um, Dan, is pretty much the same. It's two, got two Canon batteries in the it's back. It's got two Canon batteries on it, the uh, E6s. Uh, it's got a built-in speaker. It's got the stand, which, of course, we had on the other one. So you can uh, literally sort of have a quick look. lift that out and put it onto the, uh, uh, onto the desk. So if we just put that like that. Uh, in the back of that. Yep. So it's got and it's got all there. the mounting points on the Oops, top. It, it will trigger record on the SDI and HDMI. So you know it's a really great tool, and I think that that you know this has been so popular over the last twelve months that it was, I guess, it was really a natural progression. Is that, the UI that, the same? The the the, the, it, the swipe up. Swipe it is. Down. It's touch screen. It works in exactly the same way as the as the HD model would work. So anybody that's used that will be you know really. And, and what flavors of, of codec? Um, do um, you so have all your ProRes flavors, DNX HD. So you know. Let's go again, to XQ in, in 4K. Or um, or? Gosh, I believe so. I'd need to check that to to, to be absolutely certain but well, pretty much all of those ProRes flavors are, uh, are in there. And how about raw recording? Does it have any raw recording Not functions? at the moment. Something you're looking into? So maybe. Maybe. Okay. I mean I, right now it's got as I say it's the a same ProRes recorder support, at the moment. It's a ProRes recorder. Uh, that principally is, it, is its use. So I think you know we'll have the same um, we hope the same amount of popularity as this has had over uh, uh, over the sort of last 12 months and uh, we're pretty excited of course say seven inch instead of five inch and um, and yeah, really, really pretty cool. And, and the screen, what's the, what is the screen? It's uh, it's IPS. Or? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not OLED. No, it's not OLED. No, it's the same. It's the same touch screen as we use in the other uh, the other devices that we've got. Could you show and, Rodney real quick and I, see what Rodney thinks? Yeah. And I guess one of the most exciting pieces of news is that that's in stock and you can buy it today. Uh, that is exciting, <laughs> especially from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no disrespect. Dan, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm staring at the fan here. Yep. And wonder how noisy that is. No, no audible um, interference from it at all. Okay. Um, obviously, that you know, we'll let you try that. But it, there's, there's, there's no major noise from it. It's hefty and feels well built. And do I you like, know how, I like um, these. Good, how viewable it is in daylight? Do you know? Do you have any brightness <laughs> specs for that screen? I don't have brightness specs on it. I know it's got a very wide viewing angle. Um, I don't know. I mean, well, I'm sure we published specs of it on the um, on the web. Yeah. Um, and the and the price, the killer, the killer. The bit. price is eight nine five US. Wow, so that's a deal for a four K monitor and recorder. That's a you know that's a pretty good price point for people. It gives them uh, gives yeah. them a lot of options oh, for yeah. that sort of money. Yeah. Is no, there any no prospect kidding. that the smaller one will get a four K upgrade at some point? No. Is it possible? No. no. The hardware for that's been designed as a as an HD recorder, and the price point. I mean, I think we four nine five on. On this unit, eight nine five on that. Sure, you know, it kind of feels like the sure. the right space. Yeah, fabulous. Okay, but that's not the only new product you have. 
No, bunch of bunch of new things. Obviously, you uh, you're familiar with the Ursa Mini. You've been shooting some stuff. Yeah, on our, our crews and, are shooting and, and, with the Ursa Mini right here, right now. And one of the things that that, that we've done for um, this show is that we're showing the brand new studio viewfinder for the Ursa Mini, and I'll show you so just, on just with that. So in. if I take that, there's a there's a bracket that sits on top of the uh, the top of the handle there. And that simply clips right on top, so it's designed to be quickly detachable. Yep. Um, so that if you do want to take the camera, you know, from um, its use as a as a studio camera, and then you want to, um, you know, take it off, take it off of its legs, and, and, and so that's, that's just a separate handle that you get, an accessory handle with the it, with the, with the V mount, the, the abs- locking in it. Absolutely, it is. Um, and, but then, obviously, in terms of the quality, of that, I'm going to let Rodney sort of feel that as sure. a as a, a as a viewfinder. I mean, we don't have a, a, a lens on this per particular camera, yep. but you'll you'll sort of feel that the whole uh, construction of that, the whole build quality of that, really yeah. does feel fantastic. Scream um, Studio, and you know, you've got the ability to adjust the yes. uh, the, the shield on there, yep. uh, the ergonomics here in terms of the controls and the buttons. These yep. can be used both in, in the front, but you've also got access to turn right. them on the sides right. of the unit. Can we just unit. turn around and see those, but the, the yeah, controls on that side? So if you if you have a look on the side here, um, what you've got is you can access those buttons really nice and easily there, but you can also do it with just the side of your finger. Right. So really, those sort of two access positions make it really easy to use. And the whole thing is designed so that, you know, we, we, we've got the ability to, you know, really get fine adjustment over the uh, position of the yeah. viewfinder and use this to control the pivoting of the camera and stuff, sure, which, sure. Is, which is really, really nice. Um, and obviously that powers the SDI to that is the is the SDI that we'd use for the uh, sure. viewfinder that you're familiar with and it powers from from the same place um, and and you know look we're just we're, we're really excited about that because all of the feature set of Ursa Mini is, is such that it you know it's a really um, powerful studio camera but people needed to have that as sure. a, a sure. As so a, do as you an think accessory. I mean uh, do you find you, you deal, deal with a lot of installations of studios at your company yeah. Is studio moving to 35mm? Is that is that the general trend, or is that still very much the the, the niche? I think you know th- there's a movement. Um, you know, I still I, st- I still think there's a bit of niche uh, uh, about it. But but what people love is the uh, is the quality they can get. You know, from from the cameras that they can they can now get hold of. They, they can create a different kind of look and feel in the programming sure. that they're that sure. they're making, and 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 therefore you know. It's been amazing, actually, how many people since since we announced us and many have asked exactly for this kind of solution, okay. um, and I think that's a telltale sign of, of sort of where people are going with it. Um, oh, nice big tally! Switch the tally, tally. On. Absolutely. I, I mean, I, obviously, I've got a source there, so I'm cheating that with a uh, with a modification just on that button. But you can sort of see, you know, yeah. I say you get a you oh, yeah. get a really nice, Very comprehensive um, display. A display there. Okay. And, um, um, we are almost out of time. Um, how much is this? This is seventeen ninety-five US. Okay. One seven nine five. Really good. Um, Exciting I mean, I, I things did actually on want the to OS you, as well. I did actually want to ask you about the OS for the Mini. We're kind of out of time, but very, very. In, in one minute, what have you done to the Ursa Mini uh, firmware? Really, really quickly, we've completely redesigned the way you use the camera. Um, so this is not just a new skin or a new UI. This is a whole brand new operating system for Ursa Mini, and was very much part of our original plans for the product. So now, instead of if you want to start changing things like frame rate or mm-hmm. ISO or white balance, mm-hmm. any of those camera settings, you now do it by pushing that position on the home screen on the data readout. By pushing where it says ISO, you get the ability to slide and change your ISO right. with with one click. Yeah, standard so, standard. F- features on all mm. on the home screen okay, of, yeah. great. Of, of, yeah. of thank you very much sorry You're to welcome. cut you short there I mean, you know um, if people want to know more obviously they can go to the black magic site if they're here at the show they can go and see the Absolutely. ginormous booth you have here yeah. thank you very much we'll be back in just one second with a very exciting new lens from canon <laughs>